Hi everyone, my name is Seema, welcome back to my channel, and this week's video is going to just be my Sephora haul unboxing, and I'm going to try on all of my new stuff and see how it turns out. I'm really excited, so if you wanted to stay tuned for that, just keep watching. Sorry if you can hear my dog making a massive amount of noise in the background, she is feeling kind of feisty. Okay, so to start off, this is my box. I have already taken out three of the items I got because they're not for me. This is for my mom. It's a Kiehl's Ultra Facial Mask. It's an overnight rehydrating mask with 10.5% squalene. So this is for my mom for Mother's Day, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. This is also for my mom. It's an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey, which is like a brown. And then this is for my roommate Chelsea. She just asked me to get her this blush the next time I did a Sephora order. And it is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush in, I don't know what the shade is, but that's what this is. You'll actually probably see this one demoed on my channel, just not on me. I'm gonna be doing Chelsea's makeup in a video soon, so you will get the chance to see this in action, just not in this video. Everything else is still, I'm gonna put these to the side. Everything else is still in the box and we'll dive into it together. I've also got some of my other makeup here because I want to do like a full face and I don't have everything for a full face, I don't think. So we're gonna try things on and just go with it. So first thing is a Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up kit, which comes with one, two, three, four, five, six items, two of them are full sized. It's the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara in After Midnight, the Item Beauty Lip Quip in Come Through, the Kosas 10 Second Eye Gel Watercolor Eyeshadow in Heat, the Merit Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Marrakesh, the Psy Beauty Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow, and the Tower 28 Beauty SOS Daily Facial Rescue Facial Spray. So the Kosas Eyeshadow and the Merit Lip Oil are both full size products. So we can rip that open, that's very satisfying. So this is a Sephora Fit and Favorites Clean Me Up kit. So this is the Psy Super Glow Gel. I was hoping this would be a highlighter and it does look like it's a bit of a cream highlighter, so that's exciting. I think we've got a lot of cream products today, so that'll be fun. This is the Item Beauty Lip Quip Lip Oil in the shade Come Through, which is this nice kind of like orangey, corally shade. It looks pretty, I'm excited. This is the Ilia Limitless Mascara. I've heard good things about this mascara. I'm excited to have a little travel size to try. This is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Res Rescue Facial Spray. This looks nice. I think I'm probably gonna use this in the place where I normally use my MAC Fix Plus. I'm probably gonna use this because I think this is more of like a sinking into your skin kind of spray than it is like a long lasting setting spray because it doesn't seem to have alcohol in it. So that's what I think I'm gonna use it for. And then we got this Merit Marrakesh Lip Oil and this Kosas Heat Eyeshadow, which is a very pretty color, and these are both full-size products. So, excited for that. Next, we've got this Milk Makeup The Overachievers Travel Set. It's a Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, a Travel Hydro Grip Primer, a Travel Kush Mascara, and a Lip and Cheek Perk. Yeah, it's a Lip and Cheek like stick in the shade Perk, which is like a coral. So, I'm just gonna take this off. This is a nice little like green makeup bag, very cute. And then it has like just the paper that's keeping the, the bag full. We don't need to worry about the bag, but there's a bag. It's a nice bag, it seems decent quality. And then you got the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. We've got the Hydro Grip Primer. Very excited. I've heard really good things about both of these. Honestly, I've heard really good things about all these products. I'm really excited to try all of them. The Milk Lip and Cheek Stick in this beautiful color. And this Milk Kush Mascara, which is like very heavy and weighted. Like I really like the way this packaging feels. It's like metal and it is just like very weighted feeling. I think it's nice. I'm excited. I'm gonna set this bag to the side just because I don't have room for it. All right, next. The other thing is I have a lot of these products already. So, like I've gotten refills of stuff because I was running low. But if they're not completely finished, I'm probably gonna use the one I still have until it runs out and I'm not gonna open the new one yet. So for example, I got a refill 
of my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige. I'm not going to open this because I have, I have it already. I'm just running low. So I'm going to use the one I have that's open already, but I did get one. Love this foundation. It's so good. Then it's also the case with this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It's the anniversary edition, so it comes in this really big... Actually, I might open this one just because I want to show the packaging. I'm going to be using the one I actually have that's like smaller because that one's open. But I did want to show this one. So it comes with a velour puff, which is great because usually just the puff is like $20, which is why I've never bought one. But the anniversary edition just came with the puff. And then you have this like beautiful, massive Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which I love. So again, we'll not be using this today just because I have one, but it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful like vanity display piece. And then this is another thing that I got because I'm running low. So I have a, a jumbo sp of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I got the two pack, which is the same price as the jumbo. Basically, just getting one of the regular size I find is not really worth the money, but getting either the jumbo size or the two pack of two for the regular size is the way to go. So because my jumbo was running out and they didn't have the jumbo on sale again, but they did have the set, got this. We'll be using the one that I have that's open already, but love this product. We'll continue to buy it until something comes along that's better, but I think I'm on my like fifth or sixth one of these. Like, love it. I think it's so good. So next, this is not a product I've used before. I'm just also not going to be demoing it in this video because it's not like a makeup product, but it's the Diva Curl Moisture Seal Hydrating Finishing Spray. I really like, like the idea of this really appealed to me. I'm always trying to fight frizz. So I thought this would be a cool product. It says, finishing touch of moisture, this lightweight formula with a moisture locking blend brings much needed hydration to dry curls, helping to fight frizz and provide softness and shine. Usage spray after styling to rehydrate and tame frizz in between wash days. Can also be used on wet curls. Do not rinse style as usual. So my whole thing is I want something for in between wash days and that will help me with frizz. Like frizz is my big thing. So I thought this would be a good product to try. I will probably, update you guys in like a queer eye video on how this is doing usually when I talk about my hair if I'm trying a new product I'll let you know how it goes so if you wanted to hear how this does watch one of those videos whenever my next one is probably not my next one actually my next one is maybe not gonna be enough time to have really gotten a firm opinion about this but like the next two maybe will give you a solid opinion of how I feel about this but I'm excited it's cool also these products I'm probably not gonna demo because they're skincare products and I feel like those are best not good for the middle of the day. But anyway, I got the Inculus Retinol and the Inculus Retinol Eye Cream. Both of these I got because I've heard retinol is good for fighting aging stuff. And because I'm closer to 30 than I am to 20, I'm having a crisis about being old. So I thought these would be good to try because they're also really affordable products. I didn't want to like spend a lot of money on products that are going to maybe not work or I'm not going to use them properly, but are also like $50. So for the eye cream, it just says, use in the PM only on uncleansed skin, apply a small amount onto a finger and gently pat around the contour of the eye, follow with moisturizer. And then for the regular retinol, it just says, use in the PM only on cleansed skin, apply a pea-sized amount to face and neck if using alongside other serums, layer in any order. And so the thing with retinol is I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use them in the evening because they make your skin um, more sensitive to the sun, like you can burn and stuff. And I think you're also not supposed to use too much chemicals or retinols because they can give you chemical burns if you put on too much, which is why it really emphasizes to not put on too much. But I'm pretty sure these are also, yeah, it says best for first signs of aging. And best, this, one, this one's best, uh, this is best for normal skin and the eye cream is best for first signs of aging, which is great. I think what I've also heard about retinol is, yeah, you have to use a small amount because they can give you chemical burns. But I've heard these formulations are also like, really easy to use because they're like suspended and squalene and all this other stuff. So it's like, I think you'd have to fuck up a lot to, to actually burn yourself. But I also had a friend who used retinols and literally like, she peeled like the first layer of her skin off. So be careful with retinols, but I've also heard they have like a huge amount of impact and I want to clear my skin. So I'm excited to try these. I'm just not gonna be demoing them in this video because it is still pretty early in the day and I'm gonna be like going out and stuff with my dog. So sun, retinol, not a good combo. Last couple products before we get into trying them on are this Freck XL long wearing freckle makeup. I have the mini of the Freck stick and I just, I, want, I really like it. So I wanted to get the bigger size. I also find the mini just very small. So I just wanted to get the bigger size to have when the mini runs out because it's probably gonna run out soon because the mini is like literally like this big. It's really tiny. So just got the big one. I'm not out of the mini yet. So I might go get the mini and use that. And then this is the last refill. So I also have, but this one I think I'm gonna actually open and use because I do want to compare it to the one I currently have. I got another one of the KVD tattoo liner. I've gone through like a billion of these. I have one currently that still works. Like it's the one I've been using in all of my videos, but I have a sense that it's like kind of drying out. And I'm curious to see if I use this that's brand new, if it's gonna like look darker and sharper and stuff. 
So this is more a test to see if the one I'm using right now needs to be thrown out or it's just like underperforming because it's a couple years old. So we'll see. I'm actually gonna open this one and use it. And the next thing is this KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner. It's a long wearing gel eyeliner in the shade Matter Red. I just got these because they launched like the last day of the Sephora sale. KVD launched a bunch of new colored eye pencils and I was very curious about them. I wanted to actually get the green one, but the green one sold out. So I got this like rusty red one. Just curious about it. I've heard these are really budge proof. So I might do some kind of fun, fun like liner look with the combination of this red one and the liquid liner. And then my last product is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade whatever black. I, this, I, to my understanding, can be used on your eyes, your lips, anywhere, your brows. I mostly got it for my lips because I want my, whenever I put on black lipstick, it smudges really bad. So I'm hoping this will get in the, this will stop that. The one thing is I'm not sure if I'm gonna demo it today because my black lipstick is not new and I have a other, bunch of other lip products that I could try. So I don't know. I might go get a black lipstick and demo it anyway, but we'll see. So to start off, I'm just gonna grab the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and prime my face as I would normally do. So this is like a gel consistency. It's like, I actually don't wanna tell you what it looks like because I don't think that's safe for work. But that is the substance I think it most looks like unfortunately. I realized I hadn't grabbed a mirror, so just went and did that. All right, let's put this on. This, I don't know if I love the way this smells, but it definitely feels like super tacky. Like I feel like my makeup is definitely gonna like stick to it. It's like very thick, very jelly. I really don't like the smell. It reminds me of something, but I could not tell you what. But it's not like a small, it's not like bad. It's just kind of like, it's a scent that I've, I think I've smelled in other skincare that I just don't really like. Or like I think maybe I smelled it in like some sort of cream someone put on me in like a medical setting, like at the doctor. It's just reminding me of like, I don't know, like hospital gel or something. But I like how it feels. Like my skin feels super tacky. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I also have these two samples. I got this Briogeo shampoo and conditioner. They're both the Rosarco repair ones. I mostly just got this for travel so I wouldn't have to like take the regular stuff I normally use. I like these products, I've used them before. And then I got the Elia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. I feel like I didn't actually request this. I feel like I requested something else, like a, like a perfume, and they just gave me this anyway. I don't really like these lip things, like these lip samplers. I don't ever use them. I just find them like annoying. So anyway, I got those, but <laughs> I will not be using them. So I also have just like a, a thing of my own makeup here so that I can pull out what I'm missing, because again, I don't have a full face here. So this is the Born This Way Natural Beige, the one I have that's like super low. You can see like through the glass here. It's like, I don't have very much. It's gonna like struggle to really give me a whole lot of product. So it's like really on its last legs, which is why I got a new one. Hopefully that should be enough. If not, I'll open the other one, but I think that's enough. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'm just gonna do it off camera because it's not a product I got in this haul, but I'm also just going to conceal with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Natural Beige. As usual, everything I use on camera and off camera will be in the description box below. What I like about this foundation is, I don't know, I find, I find it very buildable. Like, you can put it on, on a lot and be like a full coverage bitch, or you can put on a little bit and just like look natural and clean. I find it very easy to use. I find it looks good on my skin. It sinks in. It's not too matte but it's also not too like glowy. Like I don't think I look oily with it. I just think it's a great product. And I feel like it matches me like decently well, you know, like undertone wise. I find my undertone is kind of a hard one to, to, to get. And I feel like this does it. It might be like a tad too yellow, but I feel like in the summer it works, you know, like it might be, it might bronze me a little too much, but I really do think it works in the summer. Great. And then I will be back after I conceal. Okay, I'm back. Concealer is on. I'm just gonna grab my regular Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. See, it's much smaller than the one I held up earlier, but it's like running pretty low. And I'm just going to set under my eye very lightly. And then off camera, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Okay, I'm back. I feel kind of bad because I was operating a bit on autopilot and I feel like I may have fucked up a little bit because <laughs> I set the rest of my face with the ambient lighting powder from Hourglass and then I realized I have so many cream products. Like I have a cream blush, a cream highlighter and those don't necessarily perform their best if you put them on top of powders. So feeling a little oopsie, but it's okay. 
we'll just go gentle and if I see any skipping I will let you know that I probably think it's because it's over powder I'll be right back I'm just gonna put some bronzer on and then we'll come back and do other stuff with the new products my bronzer is just the bronzer in the hourglass ambient lighting edit universe unlocks palette I will be back okay I'm back so I'm going to grab this milk makeup lip and cheek stick in the shade perk and I'm just going to put it on my cheeks kind of the way I would normally put blush this is a very lovely color like the shade is just beautiful ignore how dirty the tip looks that's just because I put it on top of a face that already had makeup on it I thought this would be really good also on days where you're not really wearing any foundation and you just want to put like some blush on your natural skin because it's very lovely like it's so lovely and then maybe the nose and then I'm just going to tap that out a little bit blend it in a bit more but it really is just like effortless like it went on so easily like just so easily and there there it is I think that looks lovely I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but I just think it looks so pretty in real life and then I'm going to grab this Sai say I don't know how you say the name of this brand but it's S-A-I-E in glowy super gel in star glow and I'm just gonna open that up oh it's like a pump I love that I love a good pump oh and it doesn't it doesn't put out too much product which is great too let's see if I can highlight with that I don't know if this is like I need to do research into this product I can't tell if it's meant to be a highlighter or like a like a before you put your makeup on primer but I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and hope that's the intended purpose if it's not then I got nothing I think surely this must be a highlighter because it's so shiny like a natural highlighter you know which is I know it is what these clean makeup products are all about is they're very natural looking but like beautiful like they sink into your skin so nice I really didn't get this product because I care about like the clean makeup hype I think that's marketing for the most part but I did just want to try these brands because I've heard good things about them and I just haven't really tried anything from them before I think this is a stunning highlight actually again more on the natural side like the blush but like so pretty just like lovely so lovely okay that's great and now I'm going to set my face with this tower 28 facial spray this smells like a cleaning product I'm gonna be so honest with you it literally smells like something I would use to clean my bathroom which isn't a bad thing it's like refreshing but it literally smells like a cleaning product for your bathroom I'm just gonna let that sink into my skin and while I do, I do that off camera I'm also going to just run a little bit of this Colourpop brow boss gel through my brows it's not a new product I've used like a gazillion times before okay I'm back so off camera after I did my brows I also put on the Urban Decay primer potion eyeshadow primer gel and I also put on like two of the shades from the KVD shade and light eye palette just as like prep on my eyes in order to go in with this Kosas heat gel eyeshadow very excited for this I'm hoping it's kind of like the Stila glimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows I really love those if it's similar to that this will be great I just, because I only have the one eyeshadow I wanted to kind of have a base to blend this into oh this is a very pretty color I really like this again very natural well I wouldn't say natural but like it's a very wearable everyday shade like as someone who wants you to know I'm wearing makeup I don't necessarily gravitate towards it and I'm just gonna take this brush and like kind of like blend out the edges a bit sorry I don't know when the camera start stopped recording but what I was saying was I could probably go in and like deepen up the corners with powder eyeshadow if I wanted to and I might still do that but this on its own is like stunning it's beautiful I think it's very nice very easy makes your eyes look nice and so far not too creasy I am digging it actually hold on I am gonna actually deepen up the corners a little bit and also maybe do like a little bit of a uh, under eye shadow and I will be right back very quickly okay I'm back so I'm going to even though I have like my original tattoo liner I think I'm gonna open this one and kind of see if it feels different like if the issues I'm having with this are just because it's old so this is the tattoo liner waterproof liquid eyeliner and we're just gonna do I think I'm just gonna do like pretty small wing this feels like different than you used to I'm just gonna run it under my eye and then decide if I want to do wing or not I don't know yet oh 
Okay, sorry if I was quiet. I literally can't talk while I do eyeliner. What's interesting is I'm like, I didn't, it's a shake well and I didn't shake it, so maybe that's why, but it just feels like they changed the formula of this. Like somehow this feels more dry than the one I've had for a while, which like, that was my whole reason for getting a new one was like, I was like, I feel like this one's drying out. So like this one feels drier. I'm like, what? Like it's not bad, it's still, it works great, but it's weird. Like I feel like the formula's changed or something, or maybe I'm just like used to a wetter eyeliner. Also, they got smaller. Look, look at this. I put them side by side. This one's like smaller. Do they have less, does it have less liquid in it? I wonder. No, it says it's got the same amount of liquid in it. So it might just be the packaging changed, but I wonder if they reformulated it because this literally does not feel the same. Like I remember this being, the first time I ever used the tattoo liner, I was like, I can never go back to any other liner. So I don't know why I'm feeling like kind of underwhelmed. I don't know if they reformulated it or I just like prefer a wetter shadow now or a wetter liner now. Like I might just have to get like a liner that's more wet, more liquid. Okay, so then I'm, I think I'm gonna take this tattoo pencil liner and I think I'm just gonna do like a swoop connecting the end of my wing to like my crease just to test it out and see how I like it. Again, I'm gonna be quiet for this guy. I literally can't talk while I do eyeliner. My hands will not cooperate. Okay, I'm back. I, my personal application of it was a bit off, but I do like the product. It was smooth, it glided on. It's gonna be a test of like how long it lasts, but it feels like it's drying down in a way that once it's dry, it's not going to budge. So I think I like the liner. It's not quite as dark as I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay, actually. I was hoping it would be a lighter color, so it's nice. I wasn't originally gonna use the Makeup Forever stick because I wasn't gonna do black, black lipstick, but I figured I could just do a little bit on my lower lash line just to like test it out as an eyeliner, If even though I, I can't, my primary, primary use for it is gonna be as a, a lip liner, but I figured I could, just so that I test it out, use it on my lower lash line. So let me just peel the packaging open. Let me just get that open, and then I'm, again, gonna be quiet because I spilled a bunch of makeup, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna run it on my lower lash. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell. I mean, you probably can. It's on my lower lash line. What I will say is that was very easy to use. It was so smooth. Usually like when I put stuff on my waterline, I feel like I have to drag it, especially when it's like a pencil liner like this, where it's not like a spinny up one. It's like a one that you have to physically sharpen. I find this can be really dry and really tug, but I that went on so smoothly and hopefully it'll just stay in my lower lash line, which is how I know a liner, like a pencil liner is good as if it doesn't like smear out of my lower lash line. Sorry, I have like something on my face. I don't know if it's dog hair or what, but, but yeah, that went on really nicely. I'm really pleased with it. So for, hmm. Okay, so I have the, for mascara, I have the Milk Kush mascara, and I have the Limitless Lash Mascara from Elia. I don't know which one I wanna use. Long length, I don't know, let me look at the wands and see which one I wanna use. Okay, so that, well, that one's like a, like a, this kind of wand. It says that it's for length primarily, and then this Kush one is, ooh, I like this this one. I think I'm gonna use the Kush one just because, sorry, Elia, I'm sure you're great. I just, I love the way the, the brush on this looks. I think it's gonna give me like lots of oomph and volume. Oh, that's lovely actually. It is It is giving me a lot of oomph and length, but it's not clumping, which is what I like. This kind of reminds me of, I feel like I've talked about this before, that Buxom mascara that I was like super obsessed with. This is kind of reminding me of that. Like I think this is lovely. And I love this kind of brush where it's just like fat and gets right into your lashes but doesn't make them clump. It just makes them look like, like naturally so long and f stunning. Really, really love it. Lovely, lovely mascara. I'm so happy with this. I'll try the Ilia one another way. I've heard good things about that one too, so I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's great. Okay, for lips, we have a couple options. We got, actually no, we just have, we have two. Actually, before I do lips, I'm gonna put, off camera some of this freck original freckle again i got the big one but i have the little one still but look how tiny this is like obviously i had to get the big one because it's so small but i'm gonna put some freckles on just because that is part of what we're doing today i don't need to do that off camera because it is a product i said i got so we can stay on camera so with this you just kind of tap it on and then you can do like different sizes and then you kind of have to tap it out with your fingers and the longer it stays on your skin before you tap it up, it's like the darker the freckles will be. 
So I kind of will try to space them out and then tap them out at different intervals so that it looks like more natural. But I really do like this product. I think it's great. I think it's so cute. I think the thing with fake freckles is they're always gonna look fake. And I feel like some people think that's a flaw, but I don't mind it. Like, I don't want you to think I have real freckles. This is purely aesthetical. I don't wanna like appropriate <laughs> from actual freckled people and like white people that burn in the sun or whatever. But I do think the aesthetic is just like so cute. I probably could have left those on for a little longer, but I really wanted to tap it out and just like move on to the lips because I'm excited for the lips. Yeah, I love this product. I think it's so good. Glad I have a big one now. I haven't had fake freckles in a while and I forgot how much I love them, I just, but I really do. I just think they're so fun. Okay, great. And then, all right, so for lips, I have this Merit Marrakesh Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil and I have this Come Through Item Beauty Lip Quip, also lip oil. I think with what I've got going on my eyes right now between the two of them, I think I'm gonna go with the Merit. I just think that looks like it'll go better with my eyes. The, the Item Beauty one's just a little too orange, you know? Oh, this is nice. I thought it would be way glossier. And like it is glossy, but it also has like, like color to it and life. But it is very good for like a, you just want your lips but better kind of day. That's what I predominantly noticed about a lot of these clean beauty products is they're very good if you want to just like look like yourself, but better, like natural, which is not really my look. But I think especially if I start going into the office or if I'm hanging out with my family, that'll be good. Cause my parents always complain about me wearing too much makeup. So. Something that's a little more natural might be good. This still doesn't like super match the, the like darkness of the eyes, but it's not bad. And then I'm going to just set everything down with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So this doesn't really smell like anything. It feels good. I didn't mention this about this, but the spritzer was good. Spritzer on this is also good. Like I don't have a problem with either of the sprays. My face looks natural, it looks like everything's sitting. I can't really test, obviously, because I'm gonna end like the video. I can't test like how much I think it helps with my longevity or if it's gonna like, compared to my Urban Decay All Nighter, how much it keeps my makeup on my skin. Cause both of these seem to be non-alcoholic face sprays. So I think they're, both of them are more like my MAC Fix Plus in the sense that they make your skin look natural, they make things sink in and they set, but they're not as built for like longevity that as like my Urban Decay All Nighter, which is like, I think it has alcohol in it. I know it like glues everything in your skin. It's basically like hairspray for your face. Whereas these two are meant to more like refresh you. So I can't really comment on how long that's gonna, like it's gonna stay on, but I think I look good for the most part. Like I, again, I don't think my lips super match my face, but otherwise I think my base looks lovely. Like I look so nice and everything has sunk in really nicely and blended, blended really nicely together. I think my eyes look good. I liked all the products I used on there. I am really happy. I feel like a lot of the times these videos kind of go all over the place because I'm just trying all my new products and a lot of times they don't go well together, but except for like the lip color not super matching. <coughs> Excuse me. I think if I'd done like black lips, that probably would have matched better, but I didn't want to do that because I, didn't, I wanted to try one of my new lip products. I think everything looks really nice. I'm really happy with this. If you guys had any comments on any of these products if you like them if you don't like them leave them down below i'd love to talk about them let me know what you guys got in the sephora sale and if you like what you got if you guys wanted to hang out with me in other videos you can subscribe i usually say that at the end of my little spiel but i'm all over the place today so subscribe and you will catch me again next wednesday if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you wanted to hang out with me on other social media platforms you can follow me on twitter on instagram on twitch and on tiktok and with all that being said, I'm going to head out. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye!